We have just discussed such helper methods as limit, skip and sort and looked at each of them individually. But what will happen if you will try to combine all those methods or for example limit and skip or skip and sort? So what is the precedence of those methods? Let's try to answer this question using MongoDB shell. Open connection to cursor collection and by default find operation will be executed. I will replace this get collection cursor part just with a cursor to make this string smaller and let's try to chain several helper methods. So let's first add for example limit limit 10 documents then let's add skip skip 15 documents and let's add sort sort and here index descending okay each of those methods should return a cursor so limit returns cursor skip returns cursor and sort returns cursor all those methods are executed on the server side before cursor is returned to the client. So, what do you think? What we will get in this case? Will server first perform skip operation, then limit, then sort? Or first limit, then skip, then sort as I have specified here? Or another order? Let's execute and try to discuss result okay we will get documents starting from index 85 and then descending index 84 and so on till index 76 totally i get 10 documents you see that we have skipped elements with indexes from 86 to 100 this means that firstly we have executed sort operation then after sort we have executed skip we have skipped 15 documents and lastly we enforced limit and returned just 10 documents in the cursor let's try to change order here so just move limit to this place so just skip limit and sort command enter result is the same let's move sort before skip and command enter again result is the same it means that independent of the order you chain those helper methods result will be same and priority of the execution of those methods on the server side will remain same and here it is sort skip and limit please keep in mind this order always when you are working with the find queries let's go back to the mongodb shell and try one more thing just add count method in the end so count method returns number what you will get in this case? 10 or something else? Command enter. We get 100. Result means that sort, skip and limit don't impact result of the count method. And count will always return result with a number of the documents that match query specified in find method. It means that result is always equal to this result if we'll just delete this so it's 100 okay next we will talk about find one method see you